So today I'm going to take you out and see if we can find some otter sprint. Um, I'm based in Devon and we're going to be surveying a canal in Devon and there's a lot of otters in Devon but sometimes I come along the canal and I don't find any signs of otters and then other times I do. So I'm just going to show you what I find on my walk this afternoon and hopefully we'll find some otter sprint. And just to explain a little bit about otters, they their droppings are called sprint and they use it to mark their territory. So they're very territorial and particularly the males. So the male otters don't like to cross territories with another male otter. So they mark their territory with sprint and they usually put it in a prominent place so that the other otters can find it. So they don't want to hide it they want it to be found so when you're looking for a place where otter spray could be it's usually a prominent um, feature like if you're on a river it would be a big boulder or a fallen log but on a canal there's not really any features that are suitable apart from under the bridges or maybe some um, jetties and pontoons that sort of thing so I'm going to take you and we'll have a look and see what we can find and I'm just walking along the path to see if there's any suitable otter features and there's not really much at all so I'm going to be checking the bridges I'm just going along to check whether there's any sprain under the bridges so here we've got a bit of a wall on the canal so I'll just check this one out Seeing anything yet? There's something here that's potentially otter. I'm not 100% sure I can see any bones in it. I don't think it's liquid enough to have a smell. No. There's some other similar droppings here but with a white splash as well so I know that ducks roost on here and hang around so it could be duck poo. Look out for the white bit. Obviously they, they're birds so they have a white bit in their poo. So for example this is bird. There's something a bit more shaped but that's not oops. got a shape to it. See we've got this. Sometimes it looks like that but very rarely so let me just break it apart. Okay I'm, I'm not seeing bones, I'm seeing vegetation so I think this is probably just a duck poo. A duck with constipation. <laughs> like it's got vegetation in it and it's grainy rather than bony and this little bridge here doesn't really have any otter features I mean it's a good idea to just have a quick look on on these rocks as well so these are prominent features but you can't really get to features like that anyway sometimes you can see things with binoculars but it's not that easy And you obviously can't get under this bridge, so no good to look there. I'll just have a quick look on all these rocks, because you never know. Or even something like this little ledge here. So otters really need to have a habitat that's got fish, largish fish. So if the stream or river that you're looking at is a bit small to have big fish, then it probably won't be much good for an otter. Although they could be using it to transition to another part of the catchment or to another catchment. So it looks like nothing on these rocks but they've built something here. I can't get to it at the moment but um, this looks like it could be an otter sprinting site in the future so we'll definitely keep an eye on that.
bridge. Let's see if there's anything under this one. Check this bridge. So I'm just going to look on this ledge here, see if there's any black splodges. Or even white ones if they're very old sprains. There's something there, but no. That's too old to be recognisable if it is not a sprain at all. Okay, well, we'll carry on to the next bridge. As you can see, there's no features here that are suitable for otters to sprain on. If you're on a river, then there would be fallen logs and rocks and things like that so those are good places to look for sprained it's nice and the sun's come out now it's cold earlier let's see what's under this bridge There's something there that's almost certainly uh, otter, but it's very, very old, but I can clearly see some little bones in there. So, not fresh, but otters have been here. There's a little tiny blob on it here as well. It's really small, but that's definitely got bones and scales in it. Again, not very fresh. Okay, so we've got otter signs here, that's good. Oh, everyone's out enjoying the sunshine. We've got a jetty here and a bridge, so let's check both of these. No black smudges there. Okay, what about the bridge? That's just moss. Something. I'm not entirely convinced that it's otter, but it could be. It does look like it's got some bones in it. Can't smell anything. Here we've got a very old smudge of a of an otter sprain. mark there but again you know, has it got little bones and things in it so not very conclusive really okay on to the next bridge We're coming up towards a modern concrete bridge and it's got quite a lot of traffic on it. This wouldn't necessarily put off the otters, 
they're quite um, used to noise but of course they come out at night anyway so it would be a lot quieter at night so let's see if this one's got any sprained underneath it there's actually a, a ledge over there and that would be worth checking if you could get to it but unfortunately you'd need a boat to get to that it might also be worth checking on features like this wooden structure here and on the slipway as well so we've got a bit of a slipway here we'll have a quick look because this is a canal the droppings won't get washed away by flood waters or anything because it never floods can't see anything here but I would definitely just keep checking around this ledge. So this is the bridge. Just go and walk along this ledge and see if there's anything. lichen or moss So nothing on there. It's worth looking in mud for footprints. I can see there's some dog prints here. Dog prints have four toes, one, two, three, four, and a triangular heel pad. Can't see any otter prints there. But you can see that's quite a nice feature and probably would be quite good for an otter to sprain on. When you're doing canal surveys you have to walk miles because the spaces between the bridges. <laughs> it's good exercise though. bones and scales and then over here is a fresher one. Let's have a sniff and see what it smells like. Yeah, I think it smells like fishy mushrooms. A lot of people say jasmine tea but it's not an unpleasant smell. It's really nice.
final bridge of the survey and once I've checked this one then we can find out where the otter territories are and the way we do that is to just mark on a map all the bridges that had otter signs and then you can see whether there's big gaps between them and perhaps you've got two territories or you know you'll be able to see where the territories are really so just think you know if there's an otter sprain there then it's within an otter territory and then you can start mapping territories you can also do dna tests to find out the individuals that are present so sometimes you'll get say a male and a female together in the same territory with overlapping territories so if you want to find out say i mean this canal is 17 miles long i've not surveyed the whole thing um, but if you wanted to survey the whole thing you could then do dna tests on all the droppings and actually find out the exact animals that are on the canal and how many animals there are and what the territory is so there's quite a lot you can still do um, but I, just by doing this basic survey technique looking for the droppings um, or we should call it spraint um, you will be able to find out if you have otters there so yeah so enjoy having a go